so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i will be covering qualified data structure in rpg4 so here i just created an example to show you that demo and even telling you what it is so qualified data structure is basically a data structure where, uh, where we can define a same name sub field in more than one ds basically just take an example we have two D ds ds1 and ds2 and both have sub field sub field 1 and sub field 1 so here i am capable of defining the same sub same name sub field in both the ds so here i am going to using qualify so we'll be using the concept of qualified data structure so here i would be using a keyword qualified with that ds name ds1 and with ds2 as well and you can see all both the ds having the same names of fields but now the thing is how i am gonna recognizing that which ds of field i am currently pointing to so i will be using the ds name then dot that is a period and that is that then this of field name to uh, check that value or check that sub field that what it contains so basically i am pointing any sub field of any ds using that ds name qualified with that ds name okay so ds1.sbfld1 ds1.sbfld2 so i can see i have ds1 dot all those four fields having old one old two one two three four five and old four value and ds2 dot all the sub fields qualified with ds2 all those sub fields having new one new two and these values okay and then i'm displaying the values so this is the concept of qualified so whenever you want that your all ds's or uh, more than one ds having the same name sub field then you have to use the qualified with that ds okay let me save this now i'll be compiling this using option 14 that is create bind rpg command and then i will be setting the uh, debug view as star source so that i would be able to debug this so rpg 10 object is now created now debug this program using strdvg command just undebug first rpgle 10 yes yes Now we'll set the breakpoint at line number one. Call RPGLE 10. Currently, DS1 is not initialized and even DS2 is also not initialized. So during the initialization steps, these two DS are not initialized. Then I'm evaluating the DS1 sub field 1 so I would be able to see here so DS1 sub field 1 is having old 1 value so all the sub fields are now evaluated of DS1 I can see all the values are now populated and if I would be looking at DS2 they are still not initialized or not having any value after this I can see both the DS have old ds1 have old and ds2 have new values and then return from this program so here i have seen or we have seen that how we are able to define the same names of fields in both the ds by just using the qualify with those ds so basically i am creating a qualified data structure so this is the uh, demo for the qualified data structure and that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time